I'm going to anticipate you saying you're not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, so let's stipulate that. Okay. But it appears <laughs> that this intruder had some kind of interaction, possibly of a violent nature, with one federal agent inside the executive mansion. That is, to my understanding, in the reading of federal law, a chargeable offense. There was no charge filed about that. And one question that instantly arises from that is that charge was not filed to keep from the public just how far this intruder got because inevitably if those charges had been filed, everyone would have asked, well, what happened inside the executive mansion? Are you comfortable with a scenario in which a charge is not filed that appears to be valid? And one explanation for that would be to cover up exactly what happened inside the mansion. Uh, I have complete confidence uh, in the ability of the U.S. Attorney here in the District of Columbia uh, to fully prosecute this individual who has been charged with a crime. Uh, and uh, the decisions about what to charge, about the charges with which, uh, the decisions about which charges to file against this individual uh, are made by career prosecutors, uh, and that is as it should be. Uh, and I uh, have confidence in the ability uh, of those career prosecutors uh, to bring this individual to justice. Last question. Stephen Horsford, a Democrat from Nevada, said the president shouldn't be distracted and worried about his safety in the White House. Is the president A, distracted, or B, worried about his safety or the safety of his family in this White House? Well, as I think I related to you, the, the president articulated his concern uh, about the incident that occurred 10 days ago. Uh, but at the same time, the president retains uh, full confidence in the men and women of the Secret Service to do their very important work, which includes, as, it's, as their top priority, uh, protecting the commander-in-chief, the first family in the White House. He's not distracted 